Power rules with positive exponents. Multivariate products. Simplify. Write your answer without parentheses. So I need to, I want to get rid of these parentheses. And kind of like when we're doing distributive property, this, to get rid of parentheses, this is very, very similar. What this means is that everything inside the parentheses is being multiplied by itself five times. So if I expanded this out, I would have negative 2 u squared v to the fourth times itself five times. Negative 2 u squared v to the fourth and again negative 2 u squared v to the fourth two more times negative 2 u squared v to the fourth negative 2 u squared v to the fourth. Okay, that's what this means. I have everything inside the parentheses multiplied by itself five times. Now, this is kind of a pain to write out. We don't really want to do that much writing whenever we work with exponents. So we come up with little shortcuts, right? And I'm going to kind of rearrange this a little bit. I have negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 five times. So negative 2 multiplied by itself five times. And I have to keep the parentheses here so that I know the negative is also being multiplied five times. Since the negative is inside parentheses here, it has to be inside parentheses when I kind of pull it apart by itself. This is different. It's not the same thing. Here the 5 is only applied to the 2, not the negative. This would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 five times, then put a negative on. This means the negative is also being multiplied five times. Okay? Um, and then I have u squared, u squared, u squared five times. And then I have a v to the fourth five times. So what I really can do as a shortcut is just kind of very similar to the distributive property, apply this exponent to every single factor in here. I have negative 2 to the fifth u squared to the fifth, and v to the fourth to the fifth. Now I can just use uh, my power to a power rule and multiply these out. Negative two to the fifth I can actually just evaluate, okay? So using my calculator here, I can put in negative two raised to the fifth power. Make sure you put parentheses around the negative to keep it inside. And I get negative 32 times, okay? Now, this is u squared times u squared times u squared times u squared times u squared, five times. Well, total, right, if I multiplied that out, right, I had five of these u squareds here, like this. So u squared five times really gives me, I have two factors of u here and two more, because if I, if I separate this even further, all these u squareds into u times u's, right? u squared, that's a u times u, that one's a u times u. And do that five times, I really have ten factors of u here, okay? u squared five times. So I can rewrite this as u to the 10th. And then likewise, this is v times v times v times v. That's four factors of v five times. So if I do that v times v times v times v five times, that'll give me v to the fourth, right? Four times five will give me v to the 20th. So the little shortcut here is to multiply. Okay, the exponent. So the negative 2 didn't have an exponent before. So it just becomes negative 2 to the fifth. There's no exponents to multiply. Or you could consider it has an exponent of 1. 5 times 1 is 5. Here u squared 2 times 5 gives me u to the tenth. 
and 4 times 5 gives me v to the 20th.